Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do grommets. I'm actually working on it on my own collection. It's a dress that I did many seasons ago, but it's a dress that you see me wear often because I love it. It's my rope dress. It's called Hazel Now. And this is the finished product, as you can see. Okay, and so this is what the dress looks like, and it's going to be available in the store next week because we're working on it right now. And I'm going to show you how to do the grommets. So we're going to go to all the components that you will need. And I wish, you know, someone showed me how to do this or there's a video as details that I'm showing you because every time I use the grommets, I forget. So now I'm going to look at my own dang video next time. So this is what you're going to need. This is the um, heavy wax ball. This is actually the die that will actually cut the hole. And that's why you can see that it's been used a few times, it's been slammed. This is actually the top and the bottom that will press the two grommets together. And of course, this is the presser. This is the hardcore industrial presser. And honestly, if you don't have the budget for this, because you know this is a bit more expensive, you can go to Joann's and Hancock and have the little hand tool kind. This is the hole puncher, okay? And this is the presser. But as you can see, you can only work with the small size on this. If you want something as big as this, it does come on with like the, um, the hand press one. It's just never really holds that well as something as industrial as this. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So the first thing you have to do is mark a hole that you want. So I just did this one. And so you have to now insert this into the screw, which I'm gonna do. And it's always important to have, what is this called? Screwdriver. A screwdriver. Thank you, Sasha. So stick it into this hole here to hold this thing so it won't spin so that you can actually be able to tighten this really tight. Because otherwise this thing will spin and spin and spin up here and you're going to be like a fool because that's how I was before I realized that's what I have to do. So you always want to be able to put this wax thing down here. Otherwise, you're not, you know, you're just going to go through and nothing to angle it. Anchor. I got to be more clear in my speaking. Anyway, so here this is, and I kind of moved this to the side just because this is so overused. There's no rhyme and reason except I got to move that over. Okay, so I do that. Okay, and then I slam that down and that cuts out my hole. Okay, this is a little bit dull because I've been using it a million times for different things. So really, don't try to mess with this with different fabric unless you are really serious about cutting it because it'll be dull like mine and then you have to buy another one. And the set is pretty expensive. It's like $80 for this whole set. And this set, it only works for this size. So if you want to change sizes, you have to buy a whole new grommet sets. So I'm going to do the real thing. We already punched the hole into the dress. So now to change into actually really doing the grommet. So use this to hold this then hold this to open this up. So this might take a little while, but this is real deal reality of doing this thing. So, and a little story on this is one day I kind of got frustrated and I didn't kind of screw this thing in right somehow and I totally messed up the threading in this. And, um, we actually had to just get it fixed last week and my boyfriend got it fixed for me at this machine shop and they're like, how did you damage the threading on this? And my boyfriend's like, she's a tiny little lady. I don't know how she messed it up. I'm stronger than I look, okay, people? I really am. Okay, so what you wanna do is put this bottom one, the tiny flat ring. So if you want this to be I forgot which one's in the top. Mm -hmm. This is the front, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the no. front. Yes. That's the, That's yeah. the back. Let me see. Now I'm confused, but let's, oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is the front. Okay. That's the back. And this is the back. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying Sasha's telling him wrong. So, since I'm doing the real thing, I don't want to mess it up. So, since I want this to be, the, this is the back. Mm hmm. So I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to face my fabric. This is the front of my dress. Because we made that mistake earlier. So I don't want to make that mistake again. 
Okay, so now you slam it. I'm doing it quietly, but you know, I do take all my anger out on here. Voila, fashion nightmare. I hate you, hopefully this is not one of them. So now this is done, nice and clean. So the flat part is the bottom, as you can see, and then the top. So just to say that again, cause you know, I almost made a mistake. This is the one with the um, raised end with the hole, that's your front. And the one on the bottom is the back. And so now you have this. Um, so if you have any more questions or other things you're interested in, what I'm doing, my inspiration, go to chloedad.com and come check out the dress in the store and this will also be in the store and online. Bye.